the Clutter Corner. I'm here today with the Andrew Wade Band. Howdy! How you doing? How are y'all? I'm good. Good! Well, I'm glad y'all are here. Thank you. I have heard a little bit about y'all. I'm going to be completely honest here. Not enough, but when I did look at the website and listen to the music, I was blown away. Thank you. Thank you very much. What a voice you have, Andrew. <laughs> That's, I really was really impressed. Thank you. That's uh, a uh, work in progress. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me, how long have you guys been together? Oh, um, I guess the band started in, uh, in 2010, and... Uh, we've had quite a few member changes over the years, but uh, I guess the group that we have now, I would say, has been together about six months. Okay. Um, and uh, it, uh, we just added a new drummer, and uh, hopefully this group will stick together. It looks like it will, so it, it's looking good so far. I think it's because you have Joel. Yeah, well... That's got to be what it is. He, he keeps me in line when yeah. I need to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have released two albums? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and now I hear there are rumblings for a live recording maybe this summer? We're, we're hoping to have something out, uh, have a live album recorded at Firehouse Saloon, um, hopefully this fall. Okay, uh, we're cool. shooting for August, September, something like that. Uh, if, uh, if we can get a couple of buddies together and kind of have one big party up there, uh, I think that's what we're shooting for. Cool. Well, if you had to describe your sound in three words, what would it be? Oh, that's <laughs> there's a laugh from over here, so I want to get his take too. <laughs> um, country rock, uh, maybe Americana, something yeah. somewhere in there. Um, it's definitely not your typical honky tonk, but uh, it's 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 a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah, which of course is what the Texas Red Dirt scene is—a yeah, little exactly. bit of everything. So right. you fit in nicely. Do you have something different for that, Joel? All I would add is the the rock. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but it's more of a 90s-esque rock, like uh, not not quite so heavy, but just that 90s alternative. You know, it's really, it. really funny that you said that, because when I was listening to that song, I, in the back of my head, I could hear Pearl Jam. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, that, I think that that's, for me. yeah, that's I'll not a bad thing that. at all. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> well, you guys have a motto on your website. Yes. What uh, is it? It's a uh, all for one and one for all. What's what's the meaning for you guys about that? Um, as I guess as corny as it may be, I know he was on here uh, earlier, uh, but I took that from Randy Rogers. Um, uh, he had a uh, interview in a magazine that I'd seen that uh, he had actually said a lot about how everybody contributes uh, their own opinions and everything. There's no actual uh, head honcho. And right. I've tried to have that same uh, same theory behind everything that we do. Uh, nobody it may have my name on there is just because we didn't have a better name for the band at that point. But uh, we we try to keep everything uh, as democratic as possible. Yeah. And uh, and and it's so far done. It's done a very good job uh, yeah. of get, making us move forward. You know, one one mind uh, one mind thinking is isn't as powerful as four other minds getting together, so that's kind of where that comes from. Yeah, okay, well, that makes sense. I'm, as, a, as a band member, a fellow decision maker, I mean, how, what's your take on that as a, a business model? Uh, I think it, it, it's great. Uh, I think uh, we've been able to uh, change up the set list. Uh, I've came, I came in the band uh, late November or December, and I've come in and, you know, suggested songs, and we, you know, each practice work on adding a little something new, and I think it just helps add, you know, when you have different members coming in and out, there's different influences coming in too, so uh, it helps mold the band and keep it unique. Yeah, exactly, and that's important for just not only for your standpoint, but when the fans are looking at you, if they mm -hmm. feel like the guys that they're watching are all together, that's right. going to go a lot further in their minds too, yeah, instead of it, all fighting or whatever. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely a chemistry. I mean, you know, when, when, when everybody has an input, uh, you know, you, you feel like you hit you're a part of it instead of you're just playing for uh, playing for, for for an audience you feel like you have a purpose and uh, and it, that's a big thing for me you know I I didn't uh, I didn't want to come into this being uh, being the only one that that has an opinion I want to make sure that I'm doing the best I can by all the guys with yeah. the band so it, uh, we all we all have a say in it and uh, even though two of us aren't here but uh, yeah, we, we try to we try to uh, melting pot everything we can. 
Cool. Well, it's obviously working for you guys, so keep it up. And let's keep getting that name out there. Yeah, exactly. And so if somebody wants to see a show, where do they go to find out about it? Uh, they can go check out andrewwadeband.com. Uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, all, all the fun social media sites. Um, they uh, Our tour, tour page is right there on the website. And uh, you can also check out Bands in Town. If you have the app on your phone, you can check that out. And uh, that keeps track of us as well. Awesome. Well, thanks, guys, for coming to the corner. Appreciate I appreciate it. it. Thank you. All right, and I'll be out to see a show soon. I hope so. Looking forward to it. Okay.